Hello everyone. In this lab, we are going to back up the operating system disk, then restore it with uh, two tools. The first tool is 64-bit clone zero SO. The next one is a uh, Helen's Boot CD. Helen's Boot CD contains lots of tools, not only for system backup and the restore. You can check its uh, tool list. Yeah, this uh, simple bit clone zero is mainly for system backup and restore. The open system we are going to backup and restore. You can install any uh, 64 bit full fledged Linux operating system or Windows operating system. It's up to you. Here I use uh, Ubuntu uh, 64 bit. And download the 64 bit. Uh, here is, it has 64 bit. Download this one and install it. After it's installed, here I install it. When we boot it up, it will look like this. So this is. Uh, Step one, install a 64 bit operating system, not, not limited to Linux operating system. You may use your Windows 10 or Windows Server, but they are quite huge. I would like to use this uh, Ubuntu, it's small. Okay, this is uh, what it looks like when it's booted up. Uh, the next step, download this 64-bit clone zero ISO. I want to download it on my computer. So you are suggested to download the zero clone, clone zero live. And check this uh, part. Download the ISO file. Come here to download the ISO file. Here, this is an alternative stable or this stable file. Here, choose a 64 bit and ISO. Repository, just choose order and click download. You know, we download it to your computer. On my computer, I already downloaded on my computer. Step three create a virtual machine with a chosen operating system with configuration of 2 gigabyte RAM or, and 2 10 gigabyte hard drives. That's why I chose Ubuntu. If you choose Windows, it suggests to use a 4 gigabyte RAM and 40 gigabyte hard drives. That's not 40, 60. 260 hard drives. And one hard drive for installing the OS, the other one for disk backup. It's up to you to use Wavebox or VMware Works Station Play. They already installed it. Now I part off and add another disk. So it's a shutdown. Um, choose Ubuntu storage. I would like to add another disk. Here, add an optical drive. We want to add a hard disk. Click here, add a hard disk. We create a new one. The size, let's just choose a 10 gigabyte, but uh, maybe a Let's choose 20 gigabytes. Okay, I have a Ubuntu 2. This Ubuntu 2 is used for backup. I think I maybe give it a new name. It's better. 
So when you create this uh, backup trail, it's better give it a little name, for example, backup. Okay, now I have a uh, two trail. This one is for backup, this one is for, is I already installed the system here. Now this disk is not formatted yet. So how do we format this disk? You may format under the Windows or, or under Ubuntu, it's up to you. Okay, I will format it under Ubuntu. Start it again. So I com completed uh, step four. Install the chosen operating system on the created VM. Step file. Now, before I take, go to step file. I would like uh, to format that backup disk. In what to use the the, the backup disk under both Linux and uh, Windows? You are suggest to format it as a FAT thirty two. Now, how do we uh, check the disk? Let's see whether we have disk tools here. System check here. We didn't see any. Uh, here we have our partition manager. Password. This is your login password. Authorization field. It looks like I didn't set up password. Run to again. Okay, now it's up. You see, it is the first disk. SD1 is the disk I installed Ubuntu. This disk, you see, it's not a, uh, it says the valid partition table was found because it's, uh, we didn't create anything here. Let's create a partition table first. Yeah, just do so. Use this uh, old one, MS DOS, but it's okay. Use GPT, the new partition table format. Okay, we have a partition table, then we want to create some partitions. Create a partition. Let's create one partition as a format as a FAT32. And allocate all the disk space to it. Click OK. Now we want to also... Okay, it's uh, set to a FAT32. Now let's uh, apply all these operations. Apply any operations. Okay, the partition table in the file system is a great but uh, I wonder whether it's uh, formatted or not. So right click, didn't see any. Uh, it looks like it's uh, formatted. You can check it. Now you see the device is. Uh, DVSDB and the partition is under DVSDB1. The second way to format this backup disk, you can use uh, tools from Highland Boot CD. Here I want to have a demo for you. First, we insert the Highland Demo CD. Highland Boot CD, then boot it up.
Okay, we can use this file explorer. Have a look, you see the files. That is a local disk C. It's uh, about 20 gigabytes. Is that backup disk and that uh, system disk is not shown up here because that system disk is a Linux system, uh, file system. It's not recognized here. There's a CD, Hydron boot CD here. It's created by the Hydron system here. Now we can use those tools to find all those disks here inside the all programs. We will find the hot disk tools, the partition tools. Here you may choose either one you want. Let's choose this uh, IMA partition assistant. Okay, here you can find the disk. This is the disk uh, we have that uh, installed with Lubuntu. The C file system is ext4. And this disk uh, is a file 32. It's already formatted into file 32. If you didn't uh, create partition table and format it under the Ubuntu, you may use this. How may partition assistant to create partition? For example, here I delete them and uh, recreate and create a partition. You may wonder that a partition table, how do you create that partition table? Here when you check the property, uh, let's see what this one is on the disk, it can be used to, to create partition table here. Because currently I already have a partition table there, but I didn't see where I could uh, delete that partition table. Okay, if it's not, a, that is a no GPT table, for example, you just create it, you need to uh, click this initialize disk, then it will create a partition table for you. Now we have a partition table, now let's uh, create a new partition. Yeah, create a new partition, take up all the space. Create okay, oops, I want to choose the NTFS. So we are format partition, choose a fat set Click OK. Then we apply all the operations. Proceed. Yes. Okay, it's done. Now we can create two folder on this disk. I just leave it empty. But it's better to uh, organize them. Let's say uh, concealer and another folder we create a Highland state. Just quite a hidden. Okay, this is how do you uh, initialize a disk and create a partition using the partition tools from the Highlands boot CD. I shut it down. Now I want to go to this uh, step file. Use Clonzilla ISO to back up the disk. To an image, back up that system disk to the backup disk. So I need to uh, choose the clonezilla ISO file and start it.
because I only the use it once. So when I click that uh, object's uh, trial, it will be listed uh, there. For yours, you may uh, choose it from the folder where you save your clone zero ISO file. Okay, clone zero is up, so choose the default options. I start clone zero device to image, clone the uh, system disk to an image file, and save the local device, the backup drive. Press enter, continue. Okay, the two disks are detected. Control C, exit this window. Right now, choose the disk to save the image. We choose the next one, the SDP one. And okay. Then we we'll choose the folder, this uh, clonezilla. Press enter. Just tab key, run. It choose this uh, clonezilla and STB. Press enter. We we'll just choose the, the beginner mode, except the default options. You can also choose the expert mode to see what uh, other options we can choose. Here, I would like to choose this expert mode. Yeah, okay, now you save disk. Yes, we want to save the disk uh, C, or that uh, system disk. The image file name is okay, use the default file name. Okay, this is a source disk, SDA, 10 gigabyte. I installed Ubuntu there. That's okay. This is a program order is okay, use uh, the default one. Now please read the screens for detailed information. I just choose all these uh, default options. And the zip for fast with a smaller image. The fattest one here, maybe we would like to do the fattest one. Click OK. But there is no uh, compression. So we may choose this uh, gzip in the first with a smaller image. Here it asks us whether we split the image. We don't want to split, then we put a big number. Skip checking repairing source for system, okay. Check the saved image, okay. Not to encrypt the image, okay. If you want to save it online, you may want to encrypt this image. When everything's done, let's choose the option. Okay. Press enter to start. Here you can see a summary of the command line. So the yes, start the backup.
first round this speed it looks like a take me a 10 minutes but it estimated to be a about five minutes about five minutes
Okay, it's uh, finished. Let's check in the image. Please read this information carefully. Yeah, press enter, continue. Remember to use a power of report. Here I would like to choose a power of. Okay, it's a part off. Now we can boot it up into Lubuntu to have a look on that uh, image, the backup image saved on a backup disk. Okay, now let's have a look. Yeah, is a backup drive. You can see the plum zero here. The image created. Here's the image created by Clon zero. You can see the size. Let's see which one is uh, the, the last uh, file. Okay, this one, the GZ file, GZ is 2.5 gigabyte. 
is one compiling style. Backup image and icons used for description. Okay, now we have this backup image version is for this step. Get some critical file to destroy the operating system so it cannot uh, blow up anymore. How do we destroy this one? Let's have a try. Try to delete some uh, system files. Open terminal window. Let's use sudo remove rf and uh, boot trail, uh, boot folder, remove everything. Uh, let's remove. We can also go to remove the etc configuration folder. Uh, let's remove. Now let's uh, power off. The power off command does not place shall done. And you also see shall done does not work. It looks like because we delete some important files. So the system does not behave as we expect it. So we just uh, push the button to part off shall done here. Okay, now it's a shutdown. You will try to boot it up. And you will see it says there's some file not found. And the uh, right scan mode, so which means the system is destroyed. Okay, we just uh, shut on the machine. You're trying to shut down the guest with the CPI power button. This is currently not possible because the guest does not support. So we just click from here to power off, power off the machine. Now the system is destroyed. Next step. Restore the OS disk with backup image file. Then put it into the restore OS to see it's uh, recovered. Okay. Here we use uh, that uh, clonezilla to restore the system. Choose the default option. Okay, choose the default option. Start clonezilla. Device image. Local device. Can you see exit this window? Now I'm choose the device as home port image. Then find the image we saved. Here we save the images folder. When we choose that folder, click uh, choose done. And press 
continue to the beginner mode. Here we have restore disk. Okay, now we use with this image to restore restore SDA, the system drive. Click OK. Yes, this is a target disk to be overwritten. Click OK. Check the image before restore. No, we want to check it when we back up. We choose the option when it's finished. Press enter to restore it. Choose yes. You may check these uh, options before you press yes. Yes. Uh, on the official website of uh, Clonezilla, here you can find the restore disk image. You may follow this uh, article if you cannot follow this video. You can check more information from that article.
Okay, the restoration is done. Okay, press enter and continue. Okay, we restored our open system. Now let's boot into our open system to see if it worked. Okay, make sure the optical drive is empty. Now let's start it. You'll see the Lubuntu is uh, restored. We restored the system. And now next, we use Helen CD to repeat this uh, process, back up the system drive to an image file, then restore, uh, then destroy the system disk, then restore it. Part off. Now we boot it with the uh, Highland CD. Press enter. Let's choose the next one. How may back up? Back up, back up. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it well. Create new backup. Disk backup. 
step one, select disk you need to back up. So we want to back up this uh, disk zero. And uh, step two, select another location as a destination pass. The destination pass, here we want to choose this heron folder. Click OK, then start backup. And the name, task name, disk backup. There are some backup options. You can check these options, general, whether we want to encrypt it, compression, just to normal, whether we want to split, automatic, intelligent sector. So you can uh, check this by yourself. This is recommended, that shows the default option. Let's see whether this one worked or not. Start back up. Okay, it worked.
Okay, it's uh, completed. Let's have a check on that image. All right, this image is here. It's about four gigabytes. It looks good. Now let's uh, destroy the Lubuntu system with a partition tool. We want to destroy this uh, system disk. So we can right click, delete partition. And then click OK, delete quickly. Then we create a partition as NTFS, but it's empty. Click OK. Now you see it's a uh, assigned drive letter E. Let's apply the operations. Yes. Now the local system is destroyed. Okay, so now let's power off. Okay, it's shut down and remove the penalty from the optical drive. Make it empty and we try to boot it up. And you'll see error and no file system is destroyed. Okay, we need to uh, part off. Now we want to use that all, all may backup to restore the uh, Ubuntu. Insert the Hadron CD again. Start it. Okay, now let's uh, restore our Ubuntu. Uh, we chose a restore. Let a system restore. Both the paths to select the image file and restore data from the file. So that file is under our backup disk. That disk is, is a 20 gigabyte disk. Now you see the letter is reassigned. So we choose the Hydron disk backup dot ADI. Click OK. And you see this is a full backup. 
select that back up, click next, and uh, select a partition volume from the image disk zero. And select a partition in the image to restore it to original or other. So we can select this uh, disk zero. The partition, which one we want to uh, restore is this E. So the 10 gigabyte here, this is disk zero. Click next. It will overwrite everything. Yes. The source to the destination. And I click start restore. Okay, the uh, restore is completed. Now let's uh, check those disks. Here, you see that a uh, local disk is still NTFS. It's not uh, restored as ext4.
so it looks like there is not a uh, restored correctly. Partition tour. Okay, the display is not right. Now you see here it's a restore to ext4. Okay, now, now let's restart to see whether Lubuntu is uh, restored or not. I will remove the Helen CD, put it up. Okay, Lubuntu is back. The restore installation is successful. Okay, that's it. We completed all the steps.